Hey, so we're going to do a teaching video on osteogenesis imperfecta. And this young man is very willingly going to allow us to, he's going to teach us about OI. Mom, can you start with a little bit of the history as to um, how he was diagnosed? What is, uh, now, you've adopted him, right? Yes. Sir. But yes, sir. his, and so he has so a father. So his biological father, grandmother, uh, aunt, uh, her children, his uncles, his older brother all have OI. Okay. Um, they say it's more predominant um, in upper states than, than down here, so we didn't know anything about it. We took him to the doctor, and the blue sclera confirmed it. He has not yet been tight. Yeah, can we come up close it. to your eyes? Okay. Yeah, you got beautiful eyes, but they do have kind of a bluish, a bluish tint. And they will change. They will be a lighter gray to a darker blue, just according to, um, I don't know if it has anything to do with it with him being susceptible to breaks, but he has times when they're a very bright, bright blue, and then some when they're like a dull gray blue. Okay. Okay. Change in color. All right. And so how many fractures has he had? This is his fourth. Fourth. Yeah, but now his older brother at 13 has had almost 30. Oh, wow. Wow. Including, like I said, he's had uh, plates in his elbows and shin already, uh, broken bone. He's broke almost every bone in his body, just about it already. Wow. His brother has. Can we just take Smile. a look at your teeth? Just smile. Oh. And they're kind of a yellowy color, and they stay okay. that way. Okay, so what problems with his teeth has he had? So far, I mean, he's had a dead tooth been come in, and they say it's due to the lack of calcium, which is also with the bones and stuff okay. like that. He has the super tooth where a permanent tooth is going to be fused together into one. It's two teeth into one. That okay, that one do. hasn't come down yet. has not come down yet, but when it does, they're going to have to do some kind of surgery okay. for that tooth. Okay. Uh, and his teeth chip real easy. Oh, they do? Okay. They, do. they also mm -hmm. come in crooked. Yeah, they're they're yeah, he's had one come in on top of the other one before All right, because so it wouldn't come out on time. So today, he though, he's here because the proximal radius appears to be potentially fractured, and he also appears to have fluid in the joint. What was the history? What happened today? He got bumped, or it was a couple of days ago, he got bumped. He went to Colorado to visit cousins, and uh, he decided to go to the swimming pool, Okay. of course, and he went down um, some cement, like a cement little thing, it just had one step down. Yeah. He went down it, tripped down it, and he's been like this, moaning, complaining ever since the third. Okay. Yesterday we re hit our arm on the truck due to a friend helping us playing horse and around. Yeah, you know? yeah. And it continued, he cried really bad last night about it to me, so I brought sure. him up here first thing this morning. Yeah, okay. And so we're getting some additional films, but maybe we'll show those x rays on this uh, video. All right. Hey, thank you guys for letting me do this video oh, yes. and you're helping doctors, med students, nurses, everybody all, all over the world. So thank we you so much. We surely don't mind anything to help somebody else learn something from it. All right. Thank you.